Hello fellow YouTubers, in this video I'm going to be doing some benchmarks of my current rig which sports an Intel Xeon E3-1230 V3 CPU, this is LGA-1150 hence it's compatible of this with this uh, Maxima 7 Hero motherboard which is Z97, Intel Z97 chipset and obviously I'm going to be using my Asus Trico Platinum um, graphics card from Asus as well and it's GeForce GTX 760. Now, guys, before you start blaming me that I'm an um, Asus fanboy, I can assure you that the only reason I chose these two parts is because of the color scheme. I wanted to go black and red. And these were the cars that matched it. The price is very good. The performance is great as well. And the resale value is great along with a good warranty. So what else is there to want? Right. In terms of the system settings, um, you can see them here on my desktop. So I'm using the parts as mentioned, along with the 16 gigabytes, so 2 by 8 gigabytes Kingston um, Fury RAM, which is running at 1866 MHz, so two sticks at eight gig, uh, with 8 gigs. And the driver version for the video uh, drivers is here. So basically pretty much latest drivers, latest updates, um, Norton antivirus running in the background, not eating that much of CPU power um, off during most benchmarks. Most of the benchmarks went three times at least to make sure that the results are accurate. And in terms of the settings used in the benchmarks, by the way, the benchmarks here on the background, as you see on the desktop, and the settings were as follows. So Valley were Extreme HD, Heaven was Extreme, 3D Mark 11. Once again, details here, performance, now, some of the tests, I couldn't really choose anything else because they were free versions. 576p on Catzilla, there you go, once again. So really not that much of a great test for the 4 gigabytes of uh, GDDR5 memory on my graphics card. And 3 d Mark um, Basic Edition. Metro was running at these settings with the physics off. For some reason, the physics wasn't running great with the current NVIDIA driver and the current Windows updates. I don't know why. But here you go. Um, Tom Raider was running at also pretty much maximum settings, as you see here. Ultimate preset. There, there are some settings here. VSync obviously always off if you want to benchmark it properly. And advanced settings as follows. In terms of crisis, you have crisis running here in the uh, background. So 1080p, everything high. And also advanced graphics here, as you see. Crisis was the only uh, benchmark that I actually could control. So it starts like this. You go into story mode, select whatever level you want. The moment you can control your character, I was using fraps, hit the benchmark key, benchmark for 60 uh, seconds sharp, get your results. And these are the results that I got. So let's go to the results. Now guys, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna slowly go through the results. You can pause the video at any time and I'm gonna just basically write a little bit about the power usage. So power usage was not bad at all. It was 50 to 80 watts on idle and basic use and going to as high as 285, 286 watts on the pretty much highest uh, performance of anything and I couldn't max it out anywhere over that so that means that anything over 300 watts you're pretty much okay a little bit of overclocking room let's say 350 add the efficiency of the power supply you're looking at about 450 watt power supply 500 uh, watt power supply perfectly capable of running system like that so here you go so the results are as you see not bad at all you can pause them at any time and have a look at them and compare it to your system now one thing guys, as you see, no graphs um, comparing the system maybe to yours. Now the reason there is that I only have one graphics card, one CPU and one motherboard simply because that's all I can afford at the moment. I can't have, you know, benchmark rig with the three graphics cards somewhere in the corner of the room or something like that. A full-time job that's completely different from anything I do here. And the only reason I'm running my channel is just to show you guys what is the performance of the products I can afford. And for very little money that I get from YouTube and it's getting less and less, I can actually afford these upgrades, you know, once a year. Obviously, I still have to add a good bit of my own money, but, you know, it's a little help from you guys. So thank you guys for watching. And, um, you know, the, be the best thing of this is that um, 
some of my videos are actually beneficial to you and that's the main thing so guys um conclusion the graphics card the cpu the motherboard they're absolutely fabulous i'm, I'm really loving my rig for at the moment um, in terms of the comparison between Z77 and Z97, eh, raw performance, not a big difference really guys, I'll be perfectly honest with you. And um, you know, obviously if you overclock it a little bit, if you play with settings, you will get a little bit of better performance, but that's to be expected, but you won't get return for the money. So you know, the amount of money you spend to upgrade your current rig to the Z97, is not really worth it unless there are some features that you really really want to have like for instance four gigabytes of vram or keyboard feature here or you know higher clock on this xeon without overclocking and having really nice thermal uh, uh, performance which actually by the way guys in room temperature it's only delta of couple degrees and even at the um, highest usage in the hottest day here in Ireland which is about 25 degrees centigrade outside this was only reaching about 55 ish with my hyper 212 running at you know quiet on in quiet mode so that's pretty good guys and that's the main reason I'm going for this CPU performance is equal to i5 in most demanding tasks um, very close to i7 Obviously nothing to compare to i7 overclock, but still I'm getting like 10,000 of CPU marks in the performance test for instance, which is really good for the uh, for the CPU for that price. So anyway guys, uh, enough of me rattling around. If you have any questions, leave them at the comment section down below. If you liked the video, click the like and subscribe for more videos to come. If you didn't like it, feel free to click the dislike button, but do let me know guys what, what you didn't like about the video and try to be constructive, you know. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Any questions, comment section down below and have a nice day.